I'm Allie Kelly, and um, I've been coming to the free clinic approximately around two years, off and on. And I've been getting uh, chemo for over a year now, every two weeks. And I had colon cancer 10 years ago, and it came back. I thought we were cured, you know. I was just going once a year for a checkup. And uh, this last time, I found that it was back. After nine years, I was shocked. One of the things that we just loved about Aileen when she came in to us is um, she does know that she's terminal, but um, when asked, you know, why didn't you maybe look at going into hospice, which would then take care of all that cost and stuff, she said she wasn't ready to call hospice because she's a fighter. She has her grandkids to live for, and she's not ready um, to die, and as long as she can, she's going to continue to fight. Yeah, it came back to my liver, and my, some in my lungs. And I have one dead kidney from it. So uh, I've been just getting treatments from over there. One of the ways we were able to help her was because of the generosity of the Women's Leadership Initiative through Unite Away. Um, they had given us a grant of money to pay for women's medications, and so we were able to pay for her pain patches, which are about $230 for a box that lasts for 15 days. And it's something that makes her life bearable. And um, she came to us for help, and Darlene, our CEO and Executive Director, was able to say, yes, we can help you, we can um, take care of you, and we were able to buy those pain patches for her and provide her with some relief. They gave me the patches, uh, Darlene, seeing that I got them on this one time. And pretty soon I need another box, because there are only five in a box. I'm really getting benefited out of the uh, pain patches for my cancer because I just can't afford them. They're very, very expensive. I was going to ask my son for money and I hated to do that. Because he's a hard worker. All my kids are. I'm sure they get that from you. Oh yeah. What you talk about. But I don't want to ask them, you know. And so we're so grateful for the support of the Women's Leadership Initiative um, and United Way um, because that helps us be able to serve more people, specifically women and children. The Women's Leadership Initiative was started about five years ago and we focus on projects that support women who are underinsured or uninsured here in our community. What we look for are projects to help women who are unable to find insurance or are unemployed and we do things with the Community Health Free Clinic here in Cedar Rapids and Lynn Community Cares. So projects to help women with prescription assistance, emergency dental care, eye exams, eyeglasses, uh, copay assistance at Lynn Community Care, things like that. It is very neat that we're able to help women right here in our community.